Good morning, and welcome to a new new thing that we're doing. My name is Pandan, and I am joined here today by Zenith, and we're about to do something unlike anything you've ever seen or heard before, and that's Fire Emblem The Binding Blade, and we're going to be doing a shared Iron Man run. So, Zenith, you want to say hello? How's it going? I literally was like thinking that is such a good intro. <laughs> I, like, <laughs> I can't wait for this to like kick off. Like, no one's ever done it before. I mean, I hope so. I don't know. This is an idea. So this is to give you guys some context. This is an idea that I've had for a while. Um, the idea being that I love the idea of Iron Man, but I also like the idea of a community run. And I thought it would be fun to do recording where we each take turns playing chapters um, in an Iron Man format. So we're both invested in the outcome. And we both want to see each other do well, so... <laughs> I uh, hope. Yeah, we hope. Um, I'm sure we'll get really pissed at each other at different points and we inevitably screw up, but... <laughs> um, regardless... Just don't establish who your favorite unit is and then it just can't go wrong. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I, I love the idea of shared runs. Um, I think FE6 is a good game to Iron Man. I was just telling Zenith, I haven't played FE6 since, like, before this, like, new translation came out. So I'm kind of just keen to like kind of skim through and see some of the changes because I don't really remember a ton about FE6's story because um, I've beaten it maybe twice since like, I don't know, 2006. So it's, yeah, been, it's, it's been a while. Been a wh 2006, really? That far back? So that, so it's funny enough, like what actually got me into emulation was, man, I really want to play FE6. And so I figured out how to do it just to play FE6 and then I started slowly diving into further exploration with rom hacking and things after that but um interesting when i mean i'm gonna have like a total boomer moment here but like back in the <laughs> days on the internet when like fe7 was the only thing that we had people used to write petitions about like bringing fe6 to america because it was oh, also dude, on gba I'd love to have been around then Oh, because everyone's like, FE6 is so cool. There are so many characters you can use. Roy's actually in the game, and he's from Smash Bros. Um, Whoa, Smash Brothers. Yeah, so there was a I lot of nothing that. nothing changed. So nothing's really changed in that regard. There were just a lot more petitions about bringing GBA FE6 to the West. Yeah, it's a bit like the Mother 3 case, isn't it? But Yeah. Um, so as far as I'm aware, they pretty much just give a brief overview of like the scouring, and then this is just the typical, like... Oh, these are all the continents and yeah. whatever. Yeah, like, this is not how I would do an intro. I mean, if you're coming in having played FE7, then it's, like, kind of a review. But this game came out first, so you're getting, you're seeing this for the first time. Mm. Also, I've literally just noticed how much Alib looks like Europe. That probably sounds so stupid, because everyone's probably like, Oh, Zenith, how did you know that? But, like, I've just realized how, like, the Western Isles looks like the UK and Ireland. Yeah. Oh my, and Ilya's rush. Oh my god. So, How did I never know that? So what is Bern then? Like, I know Bern is like a city in Switzerland, if I'm not mistaken, in real life. Yes. But... Um, I'm guessing it's like, oh, I don't know, Eastern European kind of thing? Like, I don't know, like Poland or... Like Austria-Hungary? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh my god. <laughs> Getting political already. Uh, yeah, no, maybe, I don't know. There he is. The, the lad himself. So the what... The hour. So... If I'm not mistaken, you're a pretty big Roy fan, right? Um, I like FE6, right? Yeah. I've done about five or six runs of it. Okay. Actually, I probably shouldn't set myself up to say that because I'm probably not. I haven't played it for a while, but like I've always liked like FE6 has always been one of my favorite games. Yeah. Um, so I, I, you know, I can appreciate Roy even if we do have to, you know, carry him on a Cavalier for about ten chapters or whatever, but. We'll yeah, I get that. I like the... What I like about Roy is that he's super underwhelming. And when I first played it, I was kind of like, man, this guy was way better in Smash Bros. But uh, what I like about Roy now is that, like, I feel like all the FE Lords now, like, I feel like, yeah, post, like, Ike, F Lords are all just, like, super, super buff. And they can just yeah. carry the game. And it's nice to, like, have a game where Roy is, like, not really very good. 
Um, because fundamentally, FE6 is a story about like a inexperienced guy yeah. like, thrust into a role that he wasn't prepared for, and naturally he is going to suck at combat. He's probably only ever swung a sword in like a like a training ground. Like he's not. Yeah. Like this this like running with bandits is like his awakening almost. Yeah, it's so true. I mean, he's level one. Um, but yeah, like exactly, he's inexperienced, yeah. and I like the way that the game makes you really feel that. I feel like. Maybe Marth, almost too much. <laughs> Leaf, are kind of similar in that regard. Although it's almost the most like, yeah. like the man starts off with two skill. Like, if that <laughs> just say it all. Yeah. Go well, on, FE five. FE five's great. You're gonna hear a lot of gushing about Thracia while we're playing this game. Dude, yeah, we are the biggest Thracia fans. I'll tell you now. Yeah, this is bad. <laughs> <laughs> May as well be playing FE five. <laughs> I know, but I haven't played. I haven't played FE six in so long. Yeah, it's been on my backlog for a while. Like, I really need to play this. Okay, I remember really... I beat it on normal mode, and then I beat it on hard mode, and I remember really enjoying both of it. Mm, there. Yeah, hard mode I found was really, like, quite tough to get to grips with initially. Yeah. But, like most really hard modes, it's sort of... Like, the, hard, the, the biggest challenge is the early game. Yeah. And then once you hit the mid-game... When everyone starts like speeding up and you can start relying on units, yeah, because that's that's the fundamentally the biggest thing is the fact you can't rely on anybody. No, like you can rely on Marcus to a degree, but he can't like one round anybody. You've you've, you've got to get like Lance or Alenta to come and swoop and you know finish him off. Yeah, and this chapter, like I like this chapter. I think it's a, as a chapter one, I dislike it because it's so punishing. But oh yeah, especially in hard mode. Yeah. There he comes. Here they are. It's Lance. <laughs> the I'm... probably best, one of the best units in the game. Yeah. All right, so fifty our... percent speed growth is just unparalleled. That's fair. I forgot his speed growth was that good. I I found in my experience that like the the units. One of the things I do like about this game as well is that the unit growths are kind of in the space where they're made or made. They like. It's not consistent, right? Like, the RNG makes or breaks them. And I know that's true of any Fire Emblem, but I feel like especially in the realm of growths where FE6 characters are, like, that's even more true. Oh, yeah. Like, you look at, like, Diek. Like, whilst these yeah. bases are, like, the best thing ever, like, yeah. sometimes he can just sit around 10 speed and 10 strength for, like, five or six levels. Yeah. And it just gets kind of... I mean, obviously, I'm gonna... I don't know about you, but... I think he's a good candidate for early-ish promotion, but yeah. sometimes it is annoying to seem kind of stagnate. So we'll start. We'll start with animations on. Uh, We're going for a green background. Oh come on! We, you can change it if you want. You're gonna have control of, of the save very oh, that soon. That's true. Um, <laughs> that is true. We can just keep adjusting our settings. So here's Roy. Yeah, his stats are not oh, very good. good lord. Um, zero good. res. Zero res. Bench. Bench. Bench yeah. <laughs> also zero res. He's got Actually decent speed. God. Actually god. I forgot how that bad- eight the... speed. Oof, Wolt. <sighs> I forgot how terrible Wolt's bases are. Oh man, it's just not even worth looking at. Uh, like, he's doing chip damage at best. Got... Now this guy, he actually, like, I found him semi-reliable. You like Boris? run for a bit. Yeah. I don't know, it's just- he just falls prey to all the axes. Yeah, like, I find that... I don't know about you, but I'm definitely going to use Boars as a meat shield at different points. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we may have to kind of throw him out there and be like, take some hits yeah. for his bro. Yeah, and then here's a Alan. Alain? Alan? <laughs> yeah, Alain. Alain sounds way more fancy in French, so we can go with Alain. I think it is Alain, yeah. For, for our European viewers, we'll call him Alain. All right, now... So, you're gonna laugh at me, but I'm so scared of dying in the first chapter. And so... Uh, me too, I literally, it's like... It, I'm Kicking fearful. Strong. So... I remember the first time I played hard mode, I was very anti-Marcus. And just tried to not use him at all, because I'm like, oh, he's gonna steal all the experience, that's terrible. Oh, so, he's literally the most necessary part. I know, he makes it so much more bearable. Hmm. So, my strat here is just funnel everyone up here. Yeah. 
This is like... Give, us, give him a sword, can't go wrong. Yeah, I mean, Marcus... I don't think Marcus could die here unless he gets incredibly unlucky, but I think they'll go for Roy instead. Yeah, definitely. I think I don't know how the AI works exactly, but they usually kind of... Great start. <sighs> Great start. <laughs> oh, no! We're gonna lose the run already. Are we gonna lose the run already? Oh, no, I think we might be okay. Oh, that's a dodge. Alain! Okay. Good miss, good miss. That was clutch. All right. <laughs> it's clutch, it's only chapter one. <laughs> Bro. Oh, Marcus. There we go. I just hope he doesn't get a crit. Like, I really pray he doesn't get a crit. I feel like Marcus's luck is decent enough to not get crit. We should look at his stats, because I forget how how they are. Mm. Um, right. He's got Time 10 luck. Up. Wow, he only has nine strength at base. He's... I mean, that's the same as Dieck, to be fair. That's wild. Um, let's see. So... No. Definitely want to get, like, uh, maybe Lance to, like... I don't want to backseat game too much, but, like... No, 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 that's fine. That's why we're here, right? Um, True. All right. I did this earlier, and I was playtesting a little bit just to, like, get up to speed. Because it's been a while since... Mm. One, it's been a while since I've just played Fire Emblem, just, like, being sick and being away from my house. Yeah, um, Christmas. Yeah, Christmas oh, and all Mark's that. not even double him. That's crazy. Eight speed? What? what okay, am... that's a... What? What? That's, that's like, this. I love the variable RNG. It just gives you so much extra shit to deal with. All right, so You might now... even have to break out the Silver Lance for that guy. Yeah, let's see. Um... All right, the game... I think we're going to die here. Um, this is the end of the run. Um, <laughs> it's over. Game over. Game right. over. So, Roy's in trouble... He's got a heal. I want to get Walt to attack this guy. Uh, so... So you probably want to maybe get Roy to move a space down. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but no, then you can't because he's already taking a hit. Oh, that, that hit was so annoying. <laughs> yeah, that not what I needed right now. So I'll give this one to Alan. Yeah, he does end up getting quite bulky because I think he's got really good HP. And his luck's not too bad either. Yeah, I find Alan tends to be a little bit more reliable than Lance. Like, Lance liver lives and dies by his speed growth, in my experience. Yeah, yeah, I, I can agree there. But what are we doing with the Silver Lance on him? So that leaves him with nine health? Is uh, that enough uh, for if, a, a Cavalier Swoop? Nine health. That's also assuming the 72 hits. There, yeah, that is true. That I kind of want to go for the Archer. He will cause us problems. But the archer doesn't Man, die. Silver Lance or nothing. All right, we gotta just play this slow, I think. Yeah. I don't like that one percent crit though. Um... One percent crit. Oh my god. To be fair, we're gonna have to take a lot of chances with percent crits. Yeah. Let's see. Boar's so gonna go. Boar's getting doubled. Oof. Let's see now. Cause yeah, I wanna... I wanna. I wanna almost like say something like this chapter is almost reflective of how like inexperienced Roy is as a commander. Yeah. <laughs> so true. This is so scary. Um, I put going over every. I think what I might do here is I'm just going to wait. How much experience? Okay, you'll kill him, which I don't want to do. You can always rescue Elen and then just go backwards with everyone. I think this might be the move. Yeah, I don't think Alen will die to the both the archer and the. Um... He's at full health. Marcus is good, and then we can do this. Yeah, I think that's the plan. And then Roy can come in for the kill. Watch that's him get crit. Watch him get crit. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh no. yes. Okay. Thank God that didn't even connect. I'm sure this is going to be very entertaining for all the viewers at home <laughs> watching us sweat. I gotta say, you're watching us scramble. Playing and watching Iron Man, it is so, so satisfying. Oh, wait. Vastly different experiences. All right. This guy moves first. If he goes for, uh, you know what? No, we might have killed Roy. Oh, my God. I put Roy in the wrong spot because I wanted to get him support points <laughs> with Alan. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, supports. That's one thing I didn't even start. Oh, yes. About. Okay, we're safe. We're safe. Good Lord, if, Dan. If the fighter wrapped around, the archer could have taken the forest and shot at Roy and maybe killed him. But he goes for Walt. Walt, take the hit. Good old Walt being that. The milk brother Roy always <laughs> the, the milk brother. What a title. 
the literally the most unnecessary bit of cannon that we didn't need. Yeah. It's like we... they insist on shoving it in our faces <laughs> for some reason. Yeah, they insist on reminding us that they're milk bros. <laughs> oh good god. Alright. Uh, it's this, so tough. What this the This guy's hell? so fast, and we had to give up the forest. Okay, uh, just humor me for a minute. What are his stats compared to the boss? 948040. Okay, the boss is okay, still way better. Gonna... Okay, yeah. Okay, fair. Jeez, though. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's just, oh my god, Walt. Why? Okay, let's see. Man, this damage is like... I'm doing nothing. Yeah, Eight, I know. Six. I don't remember it being this brutal. I don't think there's much risk in throwing maybe boars, boars to go smack the archer. That's a good call. If he can hit the archer. Yeah. I think I might play this really conservatively. Go for it. If it because means that we live through chapter one, just do whatever it takes, man. Whatever it takes. Yeah, because um. Can you kill, let's see, 13 plus 16, so that's 29 minus 10. That, you'll get killed by both of them, so, oh my god. So Roy, even if he's at full health. Hmm. Yeah, I think the arch is a bigger... What's the health of everyone currently? Walt and Roy need heals. Right. So, yeah, if we can dispatch the arch. Oh. Six. Eight. What are we doing with the lance? And then... It's just so unreliable, man. It's so unreliable. Yeah, this uh... could go anyway. Um... What's the... What's uh, Walt doing to the fighter? He only has 53 hit. I mean, it's kind of worth it, because, I mean, it's he's just going to get killed by the archer if he tries to attack it. So we yeah. may as well get him doing some damage. Yeah, let's do this, just in case. That's... It could hit, and that would leave him in the clear for Roy. Yeah. <laughs> Let's try this. Oh, thank yes! God. Walt! Yes! <laughs> I'm sorry what I said about you earlier. Take it back. Alright. This is pretty reliable. And then, we still don't kill the archer, though. Do we not? No. Not even with both cavaliers? No, we don't. Oh, wait. Seven. Seven plus. Oh, we can do this with lances, but it's very unreliable. Alternatively, if we kill the fighter, you could just box the archer in. Mm, not completely, though. Aren't we? No. Oh, we can still attack Marcus, but that's it. Oh, yeah, if we put... Mm, if we kill the... Yeah. <laughs> he can, well, he can get Roy. And he can kill Roy. Oh, he could get Roy, couldn't he? Because 13 minus 5 is 8. Yeah, Roy's dead. Or maybe just sit Roy on the forest with a vulnerary then. Unless we could... What I'm thinking... So if we kill this guy with Alan, Alen, or Lance... Yeah. We can then rescue the other one with... We can then rescue Walt and Roy can heal. Which Sounds I think is fine. Let's give it a try. 68. Anyway, 72. I'll take this chance. Let's yeah, go. Yeah, it's gotta be. Yes! <sighs> what a relief. Dude, this game is gonna be so nerve-wracking. Holy heck. <laughs> if it's gonna be like this the whole game, I don't know if my heart can take it. Yeah. Alright, so now... I mean, if you move uh, Elena square up, you can't attack Walt anyway. Oh, that's true. So you can just get, you can just smack the archer, and then the other two are safe. I like that. Provided I... Elen can survive both an archer and a. In the forest, dragon. I think he'll be fine. I think the this guy will pro for seven. Yeah, this guy doubles boars. The archer, they'll probably be able to kill boars, honestly. Dude, archers have never been more scary. Oh, don't put him there. No, 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 no. Well, this guy. Well, I wanted. There's two things I want to do. One. If we want Boris to live, I think he needs to be unequipped. Right. Because this okay. guy doubles him. Oh, does he double? Oh, yeah. Okay. So he's doing seven. Right, he's doing that. eighteen times two, which is like 
14, Seven and then this archer two. is doing... Actually, no, the archer only does 2 damage to him, so actually boars will live. If I'm not mistaken, because boars... 2 damage, and then this guy's doing... 18. Which is 7-7, Seven, seven. so 14 plus 2 is 16. Yeah, he lives. So... Okay, yes, just sit right there and Valnery, and then that'll be... Yeah. <sighs> the end of the turn. God. Alright. Come on, boars. Do the thing. No! Boars doing what he does best. Absolutely nothing. But sponging hits, I guess. Yeah, it's... Yep. Okay. Calculated. See, that is actually quite good, like, tanking that archer there. Only two damage and not even doubling. Yeah, there we go. That's some some armor knight strats for you. All right, now, Lance. I think that's the hardest bit of the chapter out the way. <laughs> yeah, I think Hopefully. so as well. Let's hope. So, yeah, we'll have Lance go here. Why'd they call him Lance? <laughs> when the most major item of the game is a Lance. Yeah. It's Bruh. silly. Bruh. <laughs> Alright, now, Roy. Do we get another rape here? I don't think we do. No. See, normally I when I... There's another game. It's FE8 you get another rape here, but I don't know about FE6. Oh, good God. Yeah, we might have to... Oh, no! Well, come on, man. We can move. Oh, that works. We can move boars and then get him with Alan. Yeah, okay, Marcus. That works. Marcus is the freaking Chad right now, though. <laughs> that was goat. Total goat. All right. Now, yeah, we're gonna do this. Just get him out of there. Just in Visit case. The houses for exposition. Yeah, we could do that. Get some story. All right, now. Good. Good. All right, that's that. Woo! Wipe the sweat off your forehead. You've done it. Oh man. All we right. Every... No. <laughs> this might be my biggest gaming accomplishment if we get through this. Dude, if we do, I'd be so happy. And if we ended up getting it recorded as well. It's the recording. Making history. We're making history. We're documenting this. <laughs> and then it turns out you weren't even recording at all. Oh god. <laughs> no. Everything looks like it's recording. Okay, we can only hope. We can only hope. Uh, let's right, see. Right, then. Let's see. Walt, get in here. Do your thing. Get that 10 XP. There we go. Yes. Right. Nope. No. Nope. <laughs> Anything double digits, just a big nope. Yeah. Okay, so... I think what we're going to do here is... Alain... Just check there's no units above that come down, because I don't remember the... What's his movement range? Okay, he's safe. Right, so ideally we'll put Marcus... So many times. Oh yeah, that's a good call. So what I'm thinking... Let me know what you think. I'm going to attack with Ellen here, and then put Marcus in range of the fighter to weaken him. And then Ellen uh, can get the other kill. Yeah, works for me. Oh! Hey, 2% crit! There we go. Luck was on our side. First level up. HP, speed. All right. Oh, nice. All the stats that he doesn't normally get, I'll take it. Besides we HP. We need it. Yeah. I'm very sure that his strength and his speed growth are actually the same. Are they? I remember his... I thought Alen's speed growth was worse for some reason, but it's been a while since I'm going to have a look. Yeah, please do. I'm curious. Why is my... Okay, Alen. The wiki spells his name differently with, like, only one L. Yeah, that's how the old translation had it as well. I thought it was just Alan. <laughs> like yeah. L-A-L-A-N. -A -A well, it's right, interesting. So... Well, go ahead. Okay, we're sitting at 85 HP, 45 strength, 40 skill, 45 speed, 40 luck, 25 defense, and 10 res. Which huh. Which is not bad. No, that's not bad at all. I would have expected him to be a little bit less even. And then his promotion gains are an even plus two across the board. Uh, with, I think, an extra plus three defense and one move. Okay. All right, Roy. Come on. Come on. HP luck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, man, I've played this game too much. Uh, uh, classic Roy level ups, man. All right, so. <laughs> oh, my God. First rescue of the game. Watch these insane strats. No. 
I can't believe it. What? Does the village uh, stop their movement? Stop their movement or start it? Oh, like, no, does their, the village, like, hinder their movement slightly? Yes, it does. I think it does. Sweet cash money. trivia. That'll be spent on lots of... I don't even know what we spend money on in this game. We iron really swords. Remember. Lots of iron swords and iron lances. It's the basics. We can even rely on them. And maybe an axe for Deke when he yeah. promotes. Alright, so this guy doesn't move, which is interesting. But I guess he had nothing to attack. And these guys... Oh, that's interesting. AI. Alright. So... Oh, so we can kind of funnel them almost. Almost, yeah. I gotta watch out for this archer. Yeah, because anyone you put there now is... is... I mean, Marcus is gonna die, is he? Marcus is gonna have to get hit by, like, everything to die. Seven... Eight, so that's oh, 15. I don't think this archer is doing 10 damage to him. 12 minus 9. Yeah, so Marcus will live. Wait, so... Let me just calculate that again just to be safe. Um, so that's... Wait, hang on a sec. Okay, so that's potentially 7-7. Seven, seven. So assuming he lives and this guy goes for him again. So that's 14 plus... 8, which is 22, and then this archer does 3, 25, so, so he, Marcus. if Marcus gets hit by everything, he dies. Right, okay, that's a risk I'm willing to take to get through chapter 1. Yeah. Because, um, you also have to consider that these guys may go for some of the other units as well if we move them in, so we can, like, pull some of the others. Yeah, but I think that works. going for this guy makes the most sense. Thirty-three percent hit chance. I'm pretty okay with that. Yeah, that's not. I mean, we'll find out, I guess. We'll find out. In the enemy phase. Yep. Q enemy phase. Oh yes. Okay. All right, yeah. we're safe. All right, we're safe. Oh Marcus, I can't remember when exactly he starts to drop off. I think it's roughly when Jero arrives. Yeah. Okay, we're good. Because I'm assuming, yeah, the fighter will just go and attack. Can the archer attack Lance? Alright, speed, 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 speed. I'll take strength. Yeah, okay. Take it. Okay, archer He's cannot. Okay, Lance. Okay, so. Only this fighter can go for Lance. Which is okay. Because that's kind of what we want. Yeah, I'm okay with this. I'm fine with that, yeah. I think that gets my seal of approval. Yeah. Um, let me just double check. You can't. Okay, this is fine. Awesome. Build up you, some... the enemy phase. Alright, <laughs> Boris is gonna try and catch up. Alright. <laughs> just do a marathon across this here. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Alright, okay. We take those, we take those. Yeah, we'll take those when we can get them, man. <laughs> Alright, this is what we want. Alright. It's okay, Marcus can take it. So what do you like to do against the boss here? Whoa, Marcus. Ooh. Not really what we want, but it's okay. Uh, what do I do against the boss? Well, obviously just get Walt to just keep... <laughs> <insane>. <laughs> because there's nothing he can do. Dude, um, I bet we could grind Walt to, like, level 20 on this boss. That'll make for some very engaging television. <laughs> yeah, I bet. People just want... I mean, that it, it kind of reminds me of when I watched this video. Um, not to go off topic too much, but, like... Can you beat Pokemon Blue without getting hit? And what he did was he grinded his Charizard to level 100 in Viridian Forest against Caterpies. Oh god. We could do the same thing with Walt. <laughs> <laughs> Walt's effectively a Caterpie. Hell yeah, bro. I mean, he's green as well, so... Uh, so, against the boss, um... I usually just do the same usual thing of throw Mark... Like, get Marcus to enemy phase it, and then just throw everyone else in for the cleanup. Yeah. Who do you want to give the kill to? Um... Don't oof. like that. I don't know. Who do I want to give the kill to? What's everyone's EXP looking like? Uh, 220, 247, 247, 131. We're not giving it to Walt. No, we're not giving it to Walt. <laughs> Sorry, bro. Um, I would say Roy, because I want him to not... Um, I want him to get some levels. Yeah. 
But otherwise, yeah, we give him a vulnerary because he might die. Yeah, let's see. And then, yeah, just enemy phase it. When in doubt, enemy phase. Yeah, when in doubt, place slowly. Yes. Alright, let's see. Let's do this. Come on, Marcus, do your thing. Bumbling idiots. Bumbling idiots! <laughs> yeah, that's pretty true. <laughs> let's go. Nice dodge. Crit? I'm liking that 7% crit, though. Nah, okay. I think we've already got two lucky crits for this chapter. I don't yeah. even get any more. Subtle name drop. Scott doesn't have... Uh, let's go. Whoa! Come on! Nope. No! <laughs> I love this. Oh. I love the battle music, by the way. It's got a really weird atmosphere to it that none of the other boss themes have. Yeah. Like it. Like it doesn't need to sound intense and threatening because the mm. enemies already do that for you. Yeah. It's just kind of like, yeah, this guy's slightly tougher than everyone else on the map. Yeah. <laughs> just slightly. The steel axe, if anything, is what drags him down the most. Yeah. Uh, well. It's so on normal mode, it just means that Elena and Lance could just go up and just slice him. Let's see, because Marcus will kill him, which we don't want. Oof. Has he got crit on any of them? <laughs> He's got crit on Lance. One percent. Oh, bro. He one-shots Roy. Epic. This so is even fun. trying to give him the kill is risky. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, this game. <laughs> This game is brutal. Oh, I still love it. People always like rip into the music, but I quite like the music. Do people really rip on the music in FE6? Yeah, it's, I don't know if it's like the sound font that they don't like or... Well, there's that one track. I think it's the track that plays in the player phase in the early game that a lot of people are just like, I've had enough of this. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, was it Beneath the... No. I can't remember the name of the song. I don't Beneath remember. The new light. Yeah, That's I don't... the late game theme. Alright, we're gonna give this I to Lance, I think. Beyond the Distant Skies. That's what it's called. Oh, okay. Uh, do we go enemy for phase, it? Enemy phase, enemy phase. Oh, but he'll heal though, won't he? Yeah. And Roy can't do it. Mm. I kind of want to go for it. 77 hit is like... You, but what are you gonna do if it doesn't? That's... A valid point. <laughs> um, well, if he misses, then what? You can't rescue him. Do we just expose him to the one crit? Yeah. <laughs> Change your heart. <laughs> just to be safe. Let's see what happens. Yeah, so we don't lose our javelin that we haven't used. We have to preserve the javelin. Oh, he on doesn't the, even kill on him. On the other hand. I was going to say, on the other hand. <gasps> what did I tell you? <laughs> oh, God. On the on the other hand, though, this now means that Roy can maybe try and get the kill. <laughs> yeah. At, at the cost of losing the whole run. <laughs> yeah, we can lose the run here. 88. Oh, yeah, let's go. I'll chance it. Let's go. Yep. Let's go. Oh! Yes! <laughs> we did it! <laughs> so strong. So strong. <laughs> he did three damage times three. <laughs> Just absolutely blew this Being guy away. Five strength. I'm gonna have to curse out of here. Oh, nice! Defense. Alright. We'll take it. Uh, Boris, get up here. <sighs> Alright. And I think... We did it. That's a wrap! <laughs> oh my god. Dude, if this is gonna be like this every chapter, I'm going to die. <laughs> yeah, I literally, I said it earlier, I don't think my heart could take it. Yeah. Ellie was like, how did you survive that? Yeah. <laughs> Or well, Elliwood sees just Roy sl like slicing into Damas, and he's like, "My son! <laughs> what a hero! What a hero!" He didn't know that he was just carried the whole chapter by his two knights. Yeah, it was really Marcus is the MVP of that chapter. I know, like proving that old men can still uh, still put in work, you know. Yeah, it would have been cool if Elliwood was playable in this. Oh, dude, imagine him being the Jagan. Well, I mean, he's playable in the trial maps. But... That's fair. <laughs> I mean, I guess we do have all of FE7. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> to, to have him be equally as probably, well, arguably as bad as Roy with a better promotion. Yeah. Group of mercenaries. Who'd have thought? I like the next chapter. 
Yeah, I'm looking forward to playing it, but it's also dawned on me that I'm also playing Chapter 4. Which one's Chapter 4? Where Rutger arrives. Oh, God. And I legitimately, with the nomads, the unkillable nomads. Oh, yeah, we have to figure out, like... I mean, we may not have a choice depending upon how we do, but... Um, figuring we'll out, like, to find out. if we want to go for Sake or for Ilya. And oh, yeah, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. And Echidna <laughs> versus Bartry, but we'll, we'll leave that. Oh, dude, yeah, that's a debate, isn't it? It's going to be a debate. Yeah, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Yes, we will. Well, guys, oh, man. Well, this is fun. That was an experience. That was definitely an experience. Holy heck. All right, well, this has been Chapter 1, FE6 Iron Man, featuring Pondon and Zenith. Woohoo! We survived. Flawless run so far, guys. Flawless run. Yeah. <laughs> let's see how long we can keep up. Yeah, let's see how long we can keep the death counter at zero. But um, mm. next time, we're going to watch Zenith take the take the wheel a bit. Oh, and he's going to take it to um, our second chapter. So the until next time, second. guys. I'll see you then. Well, can I say the thing? Can I say the thing? Say the thing. If you love someone, tell them. <laughs> <laughs> always. Always. Be nice to everyone, right? All right. Yes. See you later. See ya.